There is either like an airplane flying directly overhead or there is like a thunderstorm on a sunny day happening outside right now. That was most peculiar. Um, let's see. I am kind of in need of MP. Uh, Gloria does not actually have those abilities uh, th that, uh, what is it? It's a uh, Lunar Powered, recovers MP during the night, every turn. Uh, I don't think she's actually a level six black mid yet. I may, uh, I may put that, I may level her up to that eventually just so that she can have that ability. Um, probably not like right now. But it, um, it would be nice. She's not using a tremendous amount of MP right now, although whenever she does try to use Mercy Strike or Mercy Smash on something, that does consume MP. But it, it, um, it would be nice to be able to recover some of that slowly. I guess I could always just go outside, wait on the overworld for a few minutes until the, the time of day changes, but... Um, I think we've, uh, we've come a little bit too far for the dungeon for me to want to go and do that. Let me, let me use items. Let me use ethers. Again, I came into this place with, uh, 30... Uh, 44 ethers, and I plan on using them. Alright, fancy. Um, also, and I'll do this the next time someone in my party gets a job level, because uh, three people are almost there. Uh, I'll go look at my abilities soon-ish, because I, I probably have unlocked a couple of those. This is where the story is going to progress. I still have four treasure chests left to find. Uh, let me let me save real quick, just because just it's a good idea to do that periodically. I am 51 hours into this game, and let me go and look for some of those other treasure chests. I know there's one branch that I, in the path that I kind of ignored. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there were others. Um, I think it was, uh, okay, there's one, like... Perform a physical attack on the target. The heavier the equipment in the user's left hand, the greater the damage inflicted. So that is, like... A shield, obviously. It's a, it's a decently heavy shield. Let me see how much damage I can do with that. You're defaulting. Let me see how much damage I can do with a shield. Twice. I'm, um... I'm starting to actually use the shield craft moves because I do want to use a special eventually. I haven't really been using the shield craft moves. I've mostly been using the shield master as a class that just sort of sits here and takes damage. Um, because basically nothing can hurt him at all. But... Let's, uh, let's see what your offensive capabilities look like. I can't do that twice. Defender of the people. That sounds good. Take up to three attacks in place of allies before the user's next turn. I like the sound of that. That was nothing. Okay. Yep. Don't. Maybe let's... let's that's not as, uh, as good as it's cracked up to be. Let's focus on your other abilities, Elvis. It happened again. Either someone is testing nuclear weapons, like, right in my backyard, or... There was a really long and really loud clap of thunder on a perfectly sunny day. I do not understand. Bumblewhacker. Excellent name. Okay, job levels on the Swordsmaster and the Dragoon. I am level uh, 6 Oracle, level 6 Swordsmaster, level 9 Swords Shieldmaster, sorry. Swordmaster and Shieldmaster, so we're, we're, uh, we're doing like an 8th gen Pokemon exposition here or something. And a uh, level six dragoon. Now is when I shall go into the menu and look at look at my abilities because I haven't done that in a while. As far as the like thunderclappy, weird, mysterious noises go, I um that's not the first time I've I've seen things like this happening, or I should say, heard things like this happening, like very loud things that sound like somewhere between a uh, cross between like thunder and an airplane taking off on a perfectly cloudy day. Um, there are things that exist called skyquakes. Which have been described to be pretty much what I've what I occasionally hear once in a while, but I don't know of any that have been like reported in the area where I live, so I don't know if it's actually that or something with a a more boring explanation. Hey. Anyway, uh, quick, slow, haste. So we're playing with with turn priority here. Elemental impairment reduce a target's resistance to a selected element for two turns. I poked my head into this earlier in battle, although I did not actually use it. This actually just brings up a menu of the different elements in the game. You select one, and it reduces the target's resistance to that element for, I guess, for two turns. Uh, triple, this is the interesting one. Perform uh, up to three quick fire, water, or lightning magic attacks on a target. Okay, so using this in tandem with elemental impairment um, could, uh, could be useful. Elemental supplement, uh, for example, like, since... Since you don't know which one is gonna... which element is gonna be used ahead of time, 
and maybe you have a target that's weak to one element but not the others. Uh, maybe you might want to um, use elemental impairment to to lower their resistance to a uh, to the one to some of the elements first before you go and use triple. So you can you can have a bigger um, you can have a bigger multiplier for type effectiveness on 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 these on these elements. And elemental supplement, which looks like um, I'm not sure if there was an equivalent to this in previous Bravely games, but I remember in Octopath Traveler there is a uh, a late game job class you can pick up which allows you to imbue like your swords with electricity or fire or whatever and it sounds like that's what this is doing here although it, it's um for any member of the party not just the the user i don't remember if the elemental fencer elemental swordsman whatever in octopath uh was restricted to just the user all right so we are uh we are level i guess level six on divination and this is where things start to get interesting um as for the the regular abilities that I can use. Brave Front. I've expressed interest in Brave Front. Um, I am not an attacker right now as the Oracle, so I will not be using that, but that's... I have access to it now. Next, Swordcraft. Alright, Solid Stance. We know that one pretty well by now. Fluid Stance. This is the counter-attacking stance. I probably will be using this more in boss fights. A solid right style, which is what you can use in solid stance, and it will um, attack a target and sort of knock them backwards and, uh, in the turn order. And fluid left style, used in the fluid stance when attacked. Uh, hit back with a physical strike that will reduce the opponent's BP by 1. I think I'm going to like that. Um, this is not like a 25% chance of reducing the, the target's BP. This is just when you counter attack, uh, reduce BP by 1. Of course, this is kind of counter to, to Elvis's shield master because I want the... I want the attacks to be drawn towards Elvis, um, and I may not get as many counterattack chances if that happens as the Swordmaster. Maybe once Elvis masters the Shieldmaster, I will put him on the Swordmaster so he can make use of both. Or, um, well, it would be more useful if I did it in the opposite order. If I'd already mastered the Swordmaster, um, use Fluid Left Style as, as like my sub job or something, and then as the Shieldmaster... Um, drew the attacks toward me and, and counterattack them. I don't know if I can counterattack when covering or if it's just when the aggro is directed towards my face, but still. Um, the abilities for the Swords Master are counter. We know that one. 50% chance of an answering any physical attack with a counterattack. I will be equipping that. And out with a bang. When the user is knocked unconscious, a hugely powerful physical attack will be unleashed upon the perpetrator and their allies. Alright, that's... I will be getting rid of Bare Knuckle Brawler. And what was, uh, is raw power useful? I guess. I'd rather not die, obviously. And I may, I may indeed be avoiding dying if, um, if Elvis is going to cover me when I'm at low HP. So I will leave raw power there. Next, shield craft. Uh, I've looked through the, uh, I've looked through the battle moves uh, already. And I don't think I will be, I think I understand them fairly well. Uh, the Courage to Resist. Defaulting does not increase BP, but it does nullify all status elements. No thank you. Um, what about the, uh, what about the... Did not want to do that. What's the one that I had? What did I overwrite? I think it was better than ever. Um, what is the level 12 Pictomancer ability? Taking damage will cause the user's MP to be restored by a proportional amount. Okay. That could be useful. Probably not now. What's raw power? Alright, I'm not attacking. I will I'll just add convert MP just because I can because Elvis is also the healer and the healer uses MP. Um, and um, I'm not doing any attack to anything because I have two shields and bopping things with shields isn't really um, isn't really going to do a lot of damage here. Draconics, I'm just going to dismiss all those exclamation marks because I know what those do. I think I, I understand what the uh, Dragoon abilities do. Also, I'm not super interested in that. This is a JP up and up. Eh. I mean, maybe. It's night right now and I'm in a dungeon, so let's... Oh, that consumes two, two slots. All right, we'll just go with the regular JP up ability then. Okay, those are the abilities that I have. 
And I am going to seriously see if I can find the last four treasure chests. Because this isn't a small number of treasure chests that I'm missing. This is... Alright, two of them are here. I feel like one is going to be a mimic. Giant's helmet. And that's the mimic. Alright, Elvis's swords master, shield master. This is confusing. El Elvis's shield master special. Portcullis. Portcullis. Increase all allies' physical and magical defense for three turns. That has been unlocked. Let us see what this looks like. I don't know. There's a, there's a part of me that like doesn't know why I'm bothering to show these these specials for the first time because I'm probably gonna see them in a boss fight anyway, which I'm gonna be leaving in the video. But it's kind of fun to uh, to see those. It's like a it's like marking a marking a special occasion, you know. Anyway. Can I just stab everything? I have Agnon now. Agnon does a lot of damage. All right, this is a two KO on pretty much all of these, all of these cat things. Goodbye. And since I've, I've come this close to finishing the fight, uh, you are gonna default, and Gloria should be able to just whack things with the end of your sword until until it stops being a problem. Not even gonna bother with the stance. Okay, goodbye, Cap. And the Swordmaster so far seems rather unique. I am close to level 42 on three different party members. The Swordmaster seems to be rather unique in that... That is a hammer mace. Uh, its main mode of doing damage, its main uh, system for doing damage, is actually the attack command. And it's not the, uh, the special abilities. In a lot of the job classes, the regular attack command is really kind of just there to... So that you're not just, like, completely useless when... Okay, fine. For a lot of the job classes, the the regular attack command feels like it's just sort of there so that it can... You, you aren't a total sitting duck when you don't have MP or anything like that, but... For the Swords Master, that seems to be actually how you want to deal most of your damage. And... How far back do I want to run to find the last two, the last two treasure chests? Because I don't know if I want to run that far back. Uh, enemies are still chasing me down. Alright, here's one of them. Enemies are still chasing me down. And that tells me that there is a... I am not at, like, the level threshold or anything. I'm almost at level 42 on Elvis, at which point my entire party will be level 42. That may be it. Alright, Elvis is now indeed level 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Um, are you gonna... Are you interested? You are. So there is still uh, there is still growth left to be had in here, but I think that'll uh, I think that'll have to wait. I feel like I should be able to break down these walls because they're cracked, and the game has taught me that if I see a cracked wall, then I am just sort of allowed to do stuff to it that would make it even more cracked. I can't go in there, can I? No, I cannot. But not in this dungeon. That was uh, mostly the last dungeon, I guess. All right. Uh, when I get back to the save point, I will save again. And now it looks like we can just, uh, can see where the story is going to take us. Not likely. You let my people go or you'll regret it. Alright, so we've, uh, the only thing I can think of there is that, like, it sounds like he's constantly in the middle of just, like, throwing up. Ugh. Anyway, there is, alright, so we've, I wanted to heal manually before we got into this, but, okay, I can do that on the first turn of the battle. 